Today I am excited to take you on a tour of Kiyomi Sudera, a temple with over 1,200 years of history and stunning architecture. Kiyomi Sudera is a Buddhist temple located in eastern Kyoto, Japan. It is one of the most popular and iconic temples in the city, known for its stunning architecture, historical significance, and beautiful surroundings. Here is some detailed information about Kiyomi Sudera. History The history of Kiyomi Sudera is long and rich, dating back over 1,200 years. Here is a detailed account of the temple's history, founding. Kiyomi Udera was founded in 778 AD by a priest named Inchen, who had traveled to Kyoto from China to spread the teachings of Buddhism. He built a small temple on the hill overlooking the city and named it Kiyomi Udera, which means pure water temple. The temple was dedicated to the Bodhisattva of Alokitesvara, who is associated with compassion and healing. Expansion Over the centuries, Kiyomi Udera grew in size and importance. In the 9th century, Emperor Kamu designated the temple as one of the four great temples of Kyoto. During the Heian period, 794-1185, the temple was expanded and renovated several times, and many of the buildings that still stand today were built during this time. Fires and Rebuilding Unfortunately, Kiyomi's Udera was also plagued by fires over the centuries. The temple burned down several times, including in 1633, when a devastating fire destroyed much of the complex. However, each time the temple was destroyed, it was rebuilt and expanded. Modern times, Kiyomi's Udera has remained an important religious and cultural landmark in Japan throughout the modern era. During the Meiji period, 1868-1912, the temple was designated as a national treasure, and it was also a popular destination for tourists and pilgrims. In 1994, Kiyomi's Udera was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognizing its significance as a cultural and historical treasure. Today, Kiyomi's Udera is one of the most popular and iconic temples in Japan, attracting millions of visitors each year. Its long and fascinating history, unique architecture, and beautiful surroundings make it a must-see destination for anyone visiting Kyoto. Architecture the architecture of Kiyomi Zudera is one of its most striking features, with a unique and impressive style that combines traditional Japanese design elements with elements from other cultures. Here are some details about the architecture of Kiyomi Zudera, wooden stage. The most iconic feature of Kiyomi Zudera is its wooden stage, which juts out from the main hall over the hillside below. The stage is supported by 139 pillars and offers stunning views of the surrounding area. The stage is made entirely of wood and has no nails or other metal fasteners, a feat of engineering that is still impressive today. Main Hall The main hall of Kiyomi Zudera is also a remarkable feat of architecture. The building is constructed using a traditional Japanese style known as Sukiyazukuri, which emphasizes simplicity, elegance, and harmony with nature. The building features intricate carvings, gold leaf accents, and other decorative elements that reflect the temple's historical and cultural significance. Pagoda Kiyomi's Udera also features a five story pagoda that stands over 30 meters tall. The pagoda is constructed using a mix of Japanese and Chinese architectural styles, reflecting the temple's connections to other cultures. Gardens In addition to its impressive buildings, Kiyomi's Udera also features several gardens that are designed to reflect the changing seasons. The gardens feature traditional Japanese landscaping elements, such as ponds, rocks, and trees, as well as seasonal flowers and plants. Overall, the architecture of Kiyomi Zudera is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Japanese architects and builders. The combination of traditional Japanese design elements with elements from other cultures creates a unique and unforgettable atmosphere that draws visitors from around the world. Kiyomi's Udera holds several events throughout the year, many of which are related to Buddhism or the changing seasons. Here are some of the most notable events held at Kiyomi's Udera, New Year's Eve bell ringing. On December 31st, Kiyomi's Udera holds a special event where visitors can ring the temple's bell and make a wish for the new year. The bell is rung 108 times, symbolizing the 108 earthly desires that Buddhists believe cause human suffering. Setsubun Festival 
Setsubun is a traditional Japanese festival that marks the beginning of spring. At Kiyomi's Udera, the festival is celebrated on February 3 with a special ritual called Mamamaki, where roasted soybeans are thrown to ward off evil spirits and bring good luck. Cherry Blossom Viewing In the spring, Kiyomi's Udera's gardens are filled with cherry blossoms, creating a stunning display of pink and white flowers. The temple is open late during the cherry blossom season allowing visitors to enjoy the blossoms at night when they are illuminated. Autumn leaves viewing, in the fall, Kiyomi's Udera's gardens turn bright shades of red, orange, and yellow as the leaves change color. The temple is also illuminated at night during this time, creating a magical atmosphere that draws visitors from around the world. Nighttime Temple Illuminations Kiyomi's Udera is illuminated at night throughout the year, creating a breathtaking sight that is especially popular during the cherry blossom and autumn leaf seasons. Buddhist Ceremonies Kiyomi's Udera is an active Buddhist temple, and several Buddhist ceremonies are held throughout the year. Visitors can participate in these ceremonies and learn about the temple's religious traditions. Overall, the events held at Kiyomi's Udera offer a glimpse into the temple's rich cultural and religious history and provide visitors with unique experiences that they are sure to remember for a lifetime. There are several ways to go to Kiyomi Zudera from Kyoto Station. Here are some of the most convenient options. By bus, the most convenient way to get to Kiyomi Zudera from Kyoto Station is by bus. Take bus number 100 or 206 from the Kyoto Station bus terminal, located in front of the station's central exit and get off at the Gojozaka or Kiyomizumichi bus stop. From there, it's a 10 to 15 minute walk to Kiyomizudera. By train, you can also take the Kihon main line from Kyoto Station to Gionshiho Station, and transfer to the city bus number 206 or walk for about 20 minutes to Kiyomizudera. By taxi, if you prefer to take a taxi, it's about a 20 minute ride from Kyoto Station to Kiyomizudera, depending on traffic. Taxis are readily available at the station's taxi stand. By bicycle, another option is to rent a bicycle from one of the many rental shops around Kyoto Station and bike to Kiyomizudera. It's about a 30-minute bike ride, depending on your pace. Regardless of which transportation mode you choose, make sure to check the timetables and schedules beforehand to avoid any inconvenience. Thank you for joining me on our tour of Kiyomizudera. I hope you enjoyed learning about the temple's fascinating history and unique architecture.